Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I thought I'd do a little something different today. Um, I thought, you know, maybe you're sick of seeing the exact same thing from me every single time you tune in. So I thought, you know, I will take you on a little tour of the stash that I've collected for the last, I guess, six months or so. Um, so I thought I'd just start right here because it's a pretty day outside my bathroom window and show you just kind of how I go back and forth um, from my bathtub to my little closet stash, I guess. So um, this is, of course, my bathroom window and my bathtub. And I told you that Scout is always right here next to me somewhere close. Okay, so this is my bedroom hall closet. It used to be anyway. Okay, so this is my little Ikea shelf with all my stash in it. We'll just go ahead and start up here. Okay, so these are my whipped soaps. Um, Sans, the one in the back is a sugar scrub, but it's just one that I haven't even opened yet. So I've got my one from Visca Scents and a little sample, a sample from the little olive tree and of course a couple from Candy Panda. And then I've got um, my Twisted Allure and my Witch Baby and those are my absolute favorites. And then I've got some extra ones in the back, just kind of some the Witch Baby, I've got um, an extra scrub and an extra body butter, and those are both in the Heartbreak Hotel. And I've got also got an extra Twisted Allure up there that's not even opened, um, the scrub and the body butter. The Visca, this, um, I told you guys in another video, the Bath Crumble, and in particular, this scent is amazing. I love that. And there's really nothing to show you in a demo. I mean, it's just powder and you just scoop it and put it in the bathtub, but I really, really like it. And this is the infused one. And I guess I'll go ahead and um, kind of tell you, I don't know, you know, I don't know that I can tell that it's infused with anything or not, honestly, but I did love the bath. Um, I used about half of this. The first time so I'll use it again and I'll try to pay even closer attention to see if I can tell if my muscles or anything else feels better after I take the bath the second time these are just kind of fun little things I've collected and yes that is a roll of toilet paper but you know it's from the plaza in New York and I've stayed there once my husband um, he earned a trip from work and it was just a real treat. So, um, you know, I will never be staying at the plaza again. So you got to take something and we just took a roll of toilet paper and it just, it's the perfect place for my little yellow <laughs> submarine to sit. Um, see, I told you that this would be interesting to see. Um, so there's my little Susie head and this is from little, from Sweet Shop of Horrors and these are, um, these are from the Philly Fizzlers and this came from um, the Feed Me Seymour and then I've got this one from Shea Shea Le bon. Okay, so these are in no particular order, um, the bath bombs anyway. Okay, these are all my sugar scrubs and I really, really love, love, love um, all my sugar scrubs. I'm not like that much of a neat freak. I just really like to be organized. Um, of course, this is my favorite one, really. And I really, um, of course, you know how I feel about this one. Um, and my cashmere, I love that one in the Body Bond Bond. This one, um, I want to do my next sugar scrub video. Um, this is, I love this one. And this is a new one. So um, I'll show you guys that one in one of my next sugar scrub videos. These are my um, new balms from Sugar Plum Soaps. And these beauties will probably never see water. I just don't know how I could do that. Um, I do plan on using this one and this one as well. And I'm gonna use this one. I might even use this one today. Um, so these, like I said, these are in no particular order. I just kind of try and arrange them to where they fit and they're in a little nest so they're safe. Um, I've got just so many. Um, I don't really know how I choose to do the ones that I do. Um, it just kind of hits me or, you know, there might be some other factors going into it, but I just kind of just whatever I feel like doing or maybe what I think people might want to see. Um, and here are two from Witch Baby. Um, I don't know if you can see back there. There's another one. This, these are both Heartbreak Hotels. 
Um, I got three of them. I gave away a Magic Beach, and I did the Dream Palace. I did the Heartbreak Hotel. That got erased, so I'll probably do another one, and I may give the last one away in my Halloween giveaway. I'm not sure. Um, I've got Cake by the Ocean back there for Moon's Harvest. I, I have a couple more sweet cravings. Um, little donut waffles. I need to do this one. This one is very soon on my list. Um, I've got rocket science back there, and of course, this one is amazing. I want to look at it a few more days before I do it. I'm going to cocktail um, this one from Something Wicked because it's got a little cinnamon in it. I can't recall at the top of my head what this scent is, but I'm going to cocktail that with 93,000 miles and um, chop that up. I think that'll be a cool demo. These are the few bubble bars that I have. Um, the comforter is back there and bright side. Um, I've got a really old uh, bubble bar that I just have not used from Moon's Harvest. It's the rainbow with the clouds. Um, a little sample bubble bar from Moon's Harvest, and that's the slaughter melon from Sweet Shop of Horrors, Peter Peter, and her little melted ice cream cone. And then I've got a couple shower steamers that I am going to use very soon because my whole family is stopped up from um, Spoil it Yourself Silly. So I'm excited to use those. And this is my little soap shelf, and I love this. Unfortunately, I don't go through soap that often, which is funny because I wash my hands constantly. Um, but I just, with the whip soap and the scrub and the bath bombs and just all that stuff, we just, my, the rest of my family, they use regular soap. Um, so these just don't get used quite as often. Um, this is from Copper Cat Apothecary, and of course this one is from Space City Soaps, and I've got Witch Baby in there, and Twisted Allure, and Nectar Bath Treats, and Visca Sugar Plum Soaps. I've got Something Wicked back there, it smells like eucalyptus, and oh, that one smells so good. And of course I've got my little hidden polar bear soaps that I'm going to give my daughter for Christmas that she'll just, she'll never look back there. So, <laughs> um, and then I've got, um, I've still got, um, a skull left over from, um, Harper Homemade. And this, what's in that envelope is something that y'all are going to see one day and hopefully we'll be excited about. There are my little rags and my strainer, my tripod for unboxings. And, um, this is all my wax, and I love my wax. It's just, you know, one of my new obsessions, literally, and I'm just, I just love it. I just don't know how I didn't even know the world of wax melts existed. I burnt candles when I was younger, but then I don't know why I got out of candles, but um, I just love the idea of the wax melts in the burners. That just, oh, love it. Um, so anyway, this is mostly for most of my candy panda, um, and it's mostly peach and the fairy loops. Um, I think that's fruit loops with something else in it. I don't know. Um, this is my favorite right now from candy panda. Just FYI. Yeah. I haven't even taken the bags off these. Um, these just came from the dollar store too. These are awesome little baskets for a dollar. Um, this one is my favorite, the Don't Dream It's Over, and it's a lavender and marshmallow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's my favorite right now, and I'm fixing to order some more of those because they're offering that this Friday, so I'm going to probably get two of those, which is ten, so I'll probably come in a big bag like that. Um, this is just my miscellaneous. This is the little olive tree. I've got some from Pinkies, and my snowdrops is obviously gone. Um, and there's a little sample from Visca. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think that's, that's just kind of like miscellaneous vendors. This is my Zeep wax haul, and, um, it's pretty much, I think, just Zeep. I think I'm de-stashing all this. I can't really put my finger on why, but, um, we can talk about that later. You can ask me questions if you want. I don't want to make a big deal about it, but, um, I don't know. I just... These are my favorites. Um, and this one from Visca, if you remember when I opened the box, um, I couldn't believe the size of this wax. I love this. This is the Trail of Breadcrumbs. It's got an incredible throw. Um, it's strong. It's long-lasting. It's huge. 
Um, and I love that wax too. So this is all of my wax. And then these um, bombs, obviously they're kind of kind of big in size to go over here on my little shelves. So these um, are my luxurious Lunas that I haven't gotten into yet. And this is obviously my Space City Soaps um, Solar Eclipse Bath Balm. So I'm going to do that too. And I'm going to do that. Hope I'm not making y'all dizzy. Um, I was going to do this the other day with my um, butter bark. Um, I'm in my demo, but I decided to go ahead and use it with, um, with her balm because that just made more sense to me and I can't wait to use it. Um, so I've got a couple more days before I can get to that, but so I'll try to go slower, get back over here. I won't make y'all too dizzy. Now, if you're really special, <laughs> you're over here in my cheap little plastic, um, a three tiered drawer because not necessarily just like if you're lush or special, but um, I keep these over here because they're like out of sight, out of mind, the lush ones, and I just, they're not my favorites. These aren't, but, um, these are my reorders that I just, I hoard, and I just, I order them. They're my favorites. I hardly ever get to use them because I'm always demoing something new. Um, yeah, the, okay, my yellow submarine, that's one that's a favorite. These Moon's Harvest Sugar Rush Cookies, they're from February. I think I've got, let's see. Okay. Now, this is where you might start finding this video interesting. I don't want to use these because then I won't have them anymore. This is the same scent. And it's so, so good. And I should cut this up for y'all, but I don't want to <laughs> because I love the way it smells. Um, I know I won't get one until Valentine's Day next year, um, maybe, but um, oh, it's just fabulous. It's just fabulous. I love it, love it, love it. Um, now, I've had at least five of these, at least. I need to go ahead and use one, though. Um... Yeah, it looks like I've got one sadly wrapped Golden Wonder left. I need to use it too because it's kind of become a dud. But that scent, um, it's just amazing. These are kind of all like kind of sweet and I don't want to say citrusy, but so these are all kind of in the same family together. When you open this drawer, it smells just divine. Um, so, yeah, these are kind of tucked away because I don't really get in here a lot. And there's a um, the Avo bath back there, too. Okay. And then this is someone else's drawer. Um, there's the good old coconut lime verbena that you see me open in every single Moon's Harvest unboxing. And so that's the only thing left in that drawer, so I need to go ahead and restock that for someone. And then also... This is my favorite, my second favorites drawer. I've got a lot of Philly Fizzlers in here that I can't bring myself to use. Um, not, no, not just that. It's that I don't necessarily take the time to just sit in a bath that I know that I'm going to love without a doubt because I feel like I always need to be doing um, demos for you guys and trying new stuff. But um, this is um, our Secret Crush for Moon's Harvest, and I've reordered those several times. I just reordered the lavender honey donut because I love this balm. It's it's just it's sweet and lavender, and I think it's got a little. Let's see what does it say. I guess honey. I don't know. It, it's just got. It's not too sweet, but it's lavender. It's calming. Obviously, it's just beautiful. It's very moisturizing, and it's got some bubbles in it too. This fairy garden is. It, besides the Blow Me a Kiss is my very, very favorite one from Philly Fizzlers. And I just, I need to use this because I just, I've forgotten how good it is. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, it just smells like strawberries. It's, to me, it smells like strawberries. The strawberry milkshake is how I described it. And Blow Me a Kiss, like I said, um, these two together uh, are two of my very, very favorite bath bombs. Period. Just period. And... I don't know that there's anything else down here. And before um, I ran out of 
Mad Bombers. Um, my sucking face, sucking face, um, bath bombs from the Bath Bombers. I had about at least three of those in here. And I was always afraid those would get broken because they're kind of thin and long. But um, those were all stashed away in here too. So, that is about it from... Um, uh, with all my stash. Um, I don't know if you guys care about this. This is my nail polish and that is not all of my nail polish. I keep some of it upstairs. Um, these are kind of the ones I use um, most frequently. This is kind of my little wall of fame bath bomb stuff. Um, I guess that's it. I feel like I'm just rambling and talking really, really fast. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys something different when I say that my, um, yeah, this is how many clothes I keep in my closet. <laughs> I have another, um, I've got several racks of clothes I keep downstairs in the basement next to my laundry room. But, um, obviously this is what's most important to me <laughs> to keep in my closet. But yeah, um, when I say my closet is overflowing with bath products, I just thought that maybe you wanted a you know, may want a mental picture of that and know that I am actually being truthful when I say that. So, um, I don't know if this video has interested you at all or not, but, um, it was just a trip in my closet so you could kind of see what, um, what I've got going on in here. So hopefully I can get some more of these done for you guys soon. But if you have any comments or questions, just go ahead and leave them for me and we can discuss them down below. So thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.